Alright guys, well you should have seen me uh, show you how to unlock the bootloader on this device. So once you have that accomplished, if you don't, go back to my last video on how to unlock the bootloader. And you'll have everything kind of set up already on your computer for it, so I want to go through too much of that. We're going to show you guys how to get custom recovery on this thing. Big thanks to DHacker for creating Clockwork Mod Recovery. So we're going to flash uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery to my Moto G here. And it's also going to give us root access all in one shot. Um, so it's going to be pretty slick. But prerequisite obviously is to go ahead and get your unlocked bootloader. So i um, just going to show you what we're working with on this device really quick about phone there it is Moto G and uh, Android 4.3 kernels and stuff like that um, so like I said prerequisite watch my previous video on how to unlock the bootloader on this device and then we can move on from here so we're plugged in all your same drivers everything should be installed make sure you did turn USB debugging back on in developer options like you did for unlocking the bootloader and we're plugged in so I'm going to go over to my computer we're going to run some commands to this and I'll show you how to flash recovery to this device okay so here we are on my computer and we're going to run some commands so once you have everything set up just like you did in the um, unlocking you can go to that same folder that has your ADB and fastboot files I zipped one up for you guys so you can use the same folder you used and tools you used for um, the unlock bootloader features so that's this is the file here I've got set up for it and then what you're gonna do is download this file right here and I'll give you a link to it again this is from D hacker so big props to him putting this together for us so all you're gonna do is copy that file wherever you download it to paste it into the folder that has all of your ADB exe and fastboot exe files Go ahead and paste. And then in this folder, we're going to hold shift on our keyboard, right click, open command window here, and now we have a command window to type in some commands. So to prove your drivers are all working correctly like they were when you unlock the bootloader, go ahead and type in ADB devices and hit enter. And if everything's working correctly, you will have this devices right here. If it says offline, check your phone. You might have a pop-up saying you have to approve the computer to access your device, um, just like you did actually again in your unlock uh, to unlock the bootloader. So uh, we're here. So we have a devices going. So we're just going to get into bootloader mode. So we're going to type in ADB. If I can type correctly, reboot, boot. Loader, okay, and hit enter on that, and our device is going to boot into bootloader mode. All right, so here's our device. There you go. Once you see this screen, you are in bootloader mode. Would recommend to make sure you have a good battery charge um, to prove that this is all functioning correctly. You can see right here, device is unlocked. Status code three. That means you have an unlocked bootloader. If you don't have an unlocked bootloader, obviously this next step is not going to function for you. Um, so you can see right here some information, a bunch of great information on the screen right there. So from here we're going to run that command to flash this clockwork mod recovery to your device. So it's pretty simple. First we're going to prove that fast boot drivers are working correctly by typing in fast, don't need a capitalization, fast boot devices and it should come back with a number and say fast boot like it did. So that is a good sign. From here, we're going to type in another command, which is going to flash our recovery. So, fast boot flash recovery. There's spaces between each of these, and then we got to get that recovery name. So, what I like to do is come in here, say rename, copy it all. Make sure it does have the .img at the end of the name. If it doesn't, make sure you add it in the next screen. Go back to your command window. You've got a space here. Here it says fast boot flash recovery space, then paste, and then you should have the name of the recovery image right there for Moto G. 
and then you just hit enter and there you go you can see that it went ahead and flashed everything over and we'll check out our device from here we're done in the command prompt window so you can close this and over here on the device we're just going to go ahead and now this is very important you do this correctly volume down is your scroll and volume up is your select so we're going to go to recovery highlight it and then push volume up and there's your, again your bootloaders unlocked warning screen that you have on your device and this will boot us into recovery now two things I want to point out here that are going to be important for you guys um, let's see if I can point them out to give this a good clear description for you if you didn't boot into recovery right there like I just did when you reboot out of bootloader mode it will just go ahead and reflash stock recovery and you won't get recovery so it's very important that you boot in right here um, and then besides that uh, it says reboot system now I would go ahead and scroll down to backups and use power so this is your scrolling in this screen power is your select and then back up to SD card and then select it again and that's going to go ahead and give you your first Android backup with clean system no root access nothing just clean clean backup I've already done that so I'm not going to do it so I'm going to go back really quick and then I go ahead and do reboot now on reboot here it says reboot system now there's two important things that are going to come up that I want you to make sure you do so I'm going to go ahead and hit that so reboot and the first thing it asks well mine would ask this already but it would say do you want to disable recovery flash and you'd want to scroll down and select yes I already did in the last time I flashed this so it didn't ask me again but do yes and that will be installing custom recovery Moto G pretty simple way some quick commands on the computer that you already had set up because you had to unlock the bootloader to do this anyway alright so from here guys you've rebooted out of uh, recovery but you know your recovery is working functionally so to get root access on your device um, you're just gonna go ahead and make sure your device still click, click connected to your computer and we're gonna grab a uh, file browser here right there's a quick file browser this is my favorite file browser to use so we're gonna go ahead and download it there we go should open it up and just to make sure I'll show you what file it is we're gonna be transferring over this is um, the super user file to get to you can flash in recovery to get root access on really any device so right here it says update super user and it's I think it's number like oh I don't know what the property let's look at properties there it is so update super user v1.86 zip so we're just going to go back into recovery and flash that um, so it shouldn't be too hard the way you get into recovery is you can go ahead and power off the device there you go okay here you go guys from the powered off state to get into bootloader mode and back into recovery you just hold your volume up and down then hold power hold them all for about two or three seconds then let go of them all at the same time and you will be into bootloader mode from here volume down is scroll again and volume up is select so volume down to recovery and select and this will boot us into clockwork mod recovery uh, so we can flash this super user zip so once you're in recovery here it's pretty simple to do this so we're gonna flash this super user zip and we're just gonna scroll down to install zip make sure you do your Android backup before this just in case you need it choose it from SD card zero folder go down to downloads and then it's listed it's the only one I have in downloads right now and then hit power to select it scroll down once yes to flash and there you go it looks like everything should be flashing it's um, unmounting and done so then you go back reboot system now and you should have uh, custom recovery on your device that should install super user so once we boot up we'll see if we have that installed and have root access on this device okay so the device is booted up let's go ahead and go into it and there you can see super user so we're gonna click on super user it says no thanks and that means you should have root access but to prove it we're gonna go back to that EFS file browser which is a root application if you want to use it that way and go down here and go to root explorer and you get a pop-up right there so that's a good sign and there you go you have root access that's pretty much it well this thing really gives you like everything on this 
make those all read right. So there you go. Now you have root access on your Moto G and custom recovery as well. Hope you guys like this video on how to uh, install custom recovery. Huge thanks to DHacker again for that and super user or I should say chain fire for super sue and getting that going and being able to flash that over hope you like it uh, stay tuned as development happens on this device i will be doing more videos on custom roms and other recoveries if they get released so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next one root junkie out